Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Very big thank you to all our subscribers. Oh guys, may God bless you. I really appreciate all your efforts. Please, the only way you can support us is by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by sharing our videos. So today I'll be showing you how to cut a princess that the simplest method so far, I guess, of how to cut a princess that. So I'm going to make it brief so that you will not be confused. So what you are going to do is to fold your fabric into to use your bust measurement. You know the bust is the bigger part, uh, part in, in your upper body. So you are going to use your bust. Then you are going to, after using your bust, you add 3 inches for your allowance. After adding your 3 inches, you are going to add extra 3 inches again, making it 6 inches for the front. So what you will do is to measure your shoulder to your under bust. The shoulder to under, I will use the shoulder to under bust of 12 inches. Then plus the, since it's an off shoulder and it's a, it has, you are going to be joining it at the shoulder. You are going to add half inches to it, making it 12.5. This is 12.5. So you are going to draw your 12.5. Then your shoulder to your waistline, that's where you want your half cut to be. I will be using 16 inches plus half an inch, that's 16.5. This is 16.5. So you are going to draw your 16.5. So what you will do is to draw a straight line. You can use your ruler to draw it so this is your underboard this is the uh, waistline so what we are going to do now is to measure the shoulder to the nipple measurement shoulder to nipple don't forget the underboard is 12 shoulder to nipple i'll be using 9.5 meaning i'm using 9 plus half an inch that's 9.5 so this is 9.5 now you are going to draw a straight line as so so the next thing you will do is to measure your neck width measurement. I'll be using the neck width measurement of uh, 4 inches. Then the neck depth. This is the front. I'll be using 5 inches for the neck depth. So you are going to connect it like this now. So the next thing you do is to measure your shoulder measurement. The shoulder I'm working with is 7 plus half. 7.5. This is 7.5. Then your shoulder slope will measure 1 inches. So you are going to connect it now like this now. Then to determine your arm hole measurement, you will use your shoulder measurement. Then you can add one inches to it or half inches, depending on you. So since the shoulder I work with, I use seven inches. So I'll be using eight inches for the arm hole measurement. So the next thing you do is to insert your normal bust measurement and your waist measurement. The bust measurement is 40, that's 10, plus three inches, which is 13. This is 13 here now. So you are going to connect it now. So you are going to connect it like this now. Then you come to your underboss measurement. The underboss I'm working with is 34. Divided by 4, that's 8.5. Plus 3 inches, that's 11.5. So this is 11.5. Then you come over to your waistline. And the waistline measurement is 36. That's 9. Divided by 4, 9. Plus 3 inches. We have, we have a, I think, 12. So we have 12. So that's it. Sorry, this place now we have a level and half. So this is eleven. This is the waistline. So you see, after drafting out your front part now, you have something like this now. So for you to insert your uh, pieces that uh, cost here, what you will do now is to come over to this your waistline now. We are going to measure here now. We are using three point five. Sorry, we are using four inches since the boss is forty. Assuming the boss is 30, so we use 3.5, that's uh, 7. So we are using 8. This is the 8 now. You measure your 8, which is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So you measure your 4 here as well. Then you come over to your nipple points now. You will measure your 4. So which means now we are using 4 inches to determine this center part. So you connect your 4 inches together. So you see we have connected the 4 inches now. So the next nice thing to do now is to come over to your arm, uh, your arm, uh, your arm area or the armpit area. You will place your tape here now under this shoulder slant. You will measure. You can use five depending on where the, you want the pieces that to. If you want it to come down at your own, uh, armpit area, depending on you. If you want it to go up, you can use anything. So let me use five. I can still use four. Depends on where I want the pieces that to. Be. So since I'm using 5 now, you can see where the 5 is here. So you are going to connect it now to meet with these 4 inches. So this is how the... Ensure you cut this place so that this place will not be too sharp. 
So this is the front here. You can see how it is now. So you have your center already. So the next thing you are going to do is to determine the curve part now, the curve part of your breast, uh, your pieces that uh, area. So you see, you come over to this side. Now this center part, you are not touching it again. This is just what you want for the center. So you come to this side now, this side, this other side. Now. You measure two inches. Since the bust is forty, you measure two inches. You measure your two inches. You come to the under bust. This is the under bust. You measure your two inches as well. So then you connect it straight only to the other two inches. You can see that it's very simple. So what you do now is to draw your curve like form of C. So you can make use of a curve ruler depending on you. So you just draw your C like this now. So this is it. You can see that it's very simple. Very simple. So I just want to explain so that it will look very easy for you, especially for the beginner. So this is how to achieve your pieces that bust here. So the next thing you do, whatever this thing you are, this one that you've been moving, you know we are going to be cutting out this place. This place now is going to be wasted. So you are going to add it to it. That's why I told you to add extra three inches for you to be on the safer side. Then after joining it, you can reshape it to what you want. So this one now is just a, a after sewing, after joining the pieces, that then I will measure my, a, I will a, insert my measurement again, then cut it. So I'm going to cut it now. Then after cutting it, I will show you the next thing you are going to do. I'll finish uh, moving the front parts now. So the next thing, this is the half cutting. So this is the center part now. I have not touched this place. I just want to show you how you are going to cut it. You can see that I just cut only this place now. It's only this place that I just cut. Now. So you are going, the next thing you, you just cut here. I told you that you are not going to be using this place. So you cut it out like this. So this is it. It's very simple. I'll finish cutting. This is how to achieve your pieces that waste. So what we are going to do is to what the next thing you will do is to insert your you fix your breast pad, iron your breast pad, your uh, cloth thing, iron it, then you sew it. Let me sew it then show you the picture of the finished look of the work. So let's assume so this is the let's assume you have uh, uh, ironed your breast pad to it now. So this is how you can use this full place, especially if you are using a cloth stain. You can use the full, uh, you can iron the cloth stain on the full part depending on you. So this is it. I'll finish ironing it now. Next, let me go and sew it. Then I'll show you the picture of it. So show you. So if you want to sew it now, you are going to place your you see this fabric now. You place it like this now. So if you want to sew it, just follow this place. Once you get to this place now, you cut, you raise the machine up there and raise it and follow the cut. Don't rush while sewing it, so it gently. This is the, I finished sewing this now. You can see the way the process that is now. You can see, so the next thing you will do is to go and iron it. So you can see how it is. So this is how to achieve your process that goes here. Like I told you earlier that. You are going to be shaping it again. You are going to be uh, shaping it with your measurement. So after sewing it now, you can go and fold it in, insert your measurement. Yes, yes, you can move it. Then there's one thing I want to show you. After sewing, once you finish sewing, you can see that this place is not, you can see this other side is not straight as this place is. So what you are going to do is to refold it again. You are going to refold it. Then what you will do is to sew this line that is slant now. You will sew it straight. Let me sew it then, show you how it is. So I finished sewing it, and you can see that the line now is straight. So you you reshaping your uh, the armor then then if you if you experience if you see that it maybe if you want to use uh, cut this armhole now, you know I use eight inches for this uh, armhole length. After falling, I use eight inches. If you don't want it to be too deep, you can use like seven inches. Then after sewing these pieces that now, then you will measure the arm hole. If it's not enough, you will know, it uh, so that the armpit will not be too open. So thank you very much, guys. We have come to the end of uh, today's tutorial. Please, please, guys, I'm begging. If you love our video, please try and subscribe and also share. Click on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you have any requests, just comment it down the below the comment section then i will attend to you so thank you very much guys and stay blessed bye